Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Reaching Reverie. This morning, we are at the West Side Dog Park here in El Paso. Yeah, she's doing good. In this video, you can see that Evie's a little bit shy with other dogs. Evie loves Dyson, she loves her kittens, small dogs, and baby animals like puppies. She also loves people, but you can see that she's quite nervous and a little bit defensive with large dogs that she doesn't know. It's like stranger danger. Evie has come a long way, but it's been with a lot of work. In this video, we often walk away from her so that she can build her own confidence in a group setting with other dogs. When she tends to hover under us, it can make her become protective and she asks other dogs for even more space. When we're at the dog park in a setting like this with other dogs, you will often see us walking away from her because the closer she is to us, the less social she wants to be. So as we play ball with Dyson, we play fetch with Dyson, we'll walk away from Evie so that she'll actually look around, take in her surroundings, and be more open-minded to make relationships with other dogs. She never bites other dogs, but she will show them that her bubble is quite large. If you wanna see more about her story and how far she's come with socialization, check out our Instagram page at Reaching Reverie. Scroll back to the beginning and enjoy. Borzoi are frequently described as aloof. From our experience, we'd say that she's fiercely devoted to the family. She's one huge lap dog to us. With strangers, it takes time and usually several visits to gain her trust, but once you're in the group, you're considered family. With strange dogs, she demands respect. Her bubble is very large, and she thinks that it's very rude and intimidating to be approached head on. We're working on this with her. She has come a long way. Evie gravitates towards calm or older dogs, towards small dogs, and to young puppies, and also to those dogs that she knows. She doesn't like pushy or rowdy dogs, and she also avoids those with strong temperaments. Once you're in with her, she loves to play chase. Evie's favorite game is catch the wolf. Dyson is usually her favorite wolf, although she'll also happily play keep away with his favorite ball if he's not in the mood to play. Time at dog parks just like this one are crucial in the development of Evie's social skills. We would never put any other dog at risk. We usually keep sessions like this very short and as soon as anything gets a little bit hairy, we're out. We've never had an incident where there was a bite or any kind of aggression, although it does look like Evie's asking for a lot of space in these videos. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. I hope you guys can see Evie's improvements one dog park trip at a time. We sure do. I know, it's funny how that works out. I know they are both tan and then our two cats are orange. And yeah. it's just like, how yeah. did that work out? We didn't plan that at all. The best way for Evie to improve her social Sorry. skills is to keep bringing her to situations where she has the opportunity to meet new dogs. So dog park trips just like this one are crucial in helping to build her social skills. Oh my goodness. Really giving him heart or her a hard time. She was asking for what happened, bud? He's not even, he doesn't even have the energy to go get it. <laughs> she's more curious. There it is. She's, she's better with the little ones. Okay, that's good. Yeah. And you know, Hitch thinks she's a big dog, so he's unfazed by. And we foster great with them when they're little. That's good. Um, she, yeah. She'll adopt them and she like cuddles with them and That's lets so them sweet. try to nurse on her. That's sweet. He's <laughs> just super playful. He just wants to run. <laughs> yeah. He just wants to be chased and chased. Are you tired? Did he steal your ball? Let me check on the chicken. Did he steal your ball? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 